sympathize and empathize with you. No? The banking industry is in the, se in the center of our economy. Hindi naman kayo ang on trial dito, yung Chief Justice. But siguro naintindihan nyo naman kung gaano ka-importante yung informasyon na to. And we know there's conflict between theory, there's conflict between the law, and in reality. No? Ibig sabihin po, uh, kahit required kayo by law, na ibigay halimbawa yung peso accounts, you have to be very careful kung ano ang sensitivities ng inyong depositors. We understand that. No? Pwede kami magsalita na magsalita dito na hindi alis yan o whatever, but you know that better than us. No? I'd just like to ask you, ano ba ang pagkaintindi nyo sa 1405? No? Uh, Doon sa exception na pagka-impeachment court, uh, do, you, do you think that you need a, in your belief or your uh, opinion of the law, kailangan nyo pa ng supina or ng order bago nyo ilabas tungkol sa peso accounts? Yes, Your Honor. That is our understanding. Okay. Because I'd like to bring to your attention, uh, in the journal of January 2, um, 2000 and December 22, 2000, Clarissa Ocampo came here to the Senate and gave testimony and she did not have a supina. And uh, I'll not go, I only have a limited time, no? Um, when they were asked, sabi niya, tinanong niya sa external counsel nila. At since sinabi ng external counsel na pwede dahil impeachment case, ibinigay nila lang to. I, I'm saying that because this all started with the little lady and the big congressman. Uh, congressman uh, Umali, or the tall congressman. No? Kasi kung pwede naman ibigay sa kanya dahil impeachment case naman to at wala namang bawal doon, eh wala ng allegations of a fairy tale or kung totoo to hindi. Pero, alam natin na kahit ganun yung batas, masama sa banko yon, di ba? Because any bank na may allegations na will freely give the information, medyo aalma yung mga depositors, even if it is allowed by law. Tama po ba yun? Yes, sir. Yeah. Meaning, you're in a position that you want to follow the law, you want to be very cooperative here, but you also have to be very careful of the sensitivities of your depositors. Yes, Your Honor, but if I may just add, uh, it's not just the sensitivity of sensitivities of our depositors. If we disclose anything, even on a PESO account, that is not covered by an order of this court, we will actually be violating Republic Act 1405, which specifies that we are not supposed to disclose anything except to an impeachment court, and that is through a, an order. And that's why we have to be extremely careful. And besides, even on the subpoena, Your Honor, there were 10 certain accounts specified there. And so we respond on the basis of what we are being ordered to respond. Yes. So if we will respond or give information or details or anything that is not within the specific instructions of the court, we will be opening up ourselves and we will be violating the law on yes. confidentiality. No, I'm process. trying to help you uh, explain to your depositors because yes, your, your understanding of the law is an interpretation already. You said you need an order of the impeachment court. That's not what the law says. The law says, except upon written permission of the depositor or in cases of impeachment, it doesn't say that you need an order of the impeachment uh, court. That's why in the case of Clarissa Ocampo, she came here walang order. And tinanong siya, bakit mo binibigay yung impormasyon? Ang sagot niya, tinanong ko sa external counsel namin eh. Sabi ng counsel nila, pwede. My only interpretation of that is because they interpreted in case of impeachment to be anything that has to do with the impeachment uh, proceeding. Meaning, if one of your bank officials go to the prosecution and says, eto yung bank accounts niya, they will not be uh, liable under the law, uh, under that uh, precedent, no? Under what? I, I will not argue that point now because that's not, I was just yeah. simply trying to yeah. ask you your opinion and ask the defense, the prosecution counsel, the same thing. But I was just trying to help you also um, be, because, you know, we, we, are, we are being monitored here, we are yes, being sir. watched, <coughs> ng ating mga kababayan. All banks are also probably yes, watching your situation. Yes. And I'd like to show you that although we ask you tough questions, no, we are not insensitive to the, to the situation of your bank and the banking industry, sir. I thank you for that, Your Honor. And uh, if I may just uh, add, uh, in the case of Clarissa Ocampo, precisely when she did disclose without a court 
order or no direction from the court or for that matter a uh, consent from the depositor the bank suffered significantly right after that yes deposits get Pre eroded precisely Th that's what i was pointing out yung po yung practice yung po yung actual na nangyari okay. pero hindi po siya nakasuhan at wala pong penalty ang uh, Banko Central sa kanila at conditionally tinanggap yung ebidensya dito sa impeachment court because nga, eto yung kaibahan ng batas sa aktual. Ang batas, payagan man kayo magbigay ng uh, informasyon, actually it, it causes jitters sa mga depositors. So I'll not ask you and will not debate on the law, but I will agree with you that the mere fact that, uh, Sir, Mr. President, just 30 seconds to, to finish. Uh, but I will agree with you, and uh, that's why to the depositors who are watching, I, I wanted to send them the message that you don't have a choice kapag ka impeachment proceedings ito. No? Um, may, may I ask the, def the prosecution counsel, no? same question, anong interpretation nyo sa 1405? Kailangan orderan pa yung banko na dalin dito? Or the mere fact na may pumunta sa inyo na kahit anong official ng banko, sinabi impeachment case to, eto yung, eto yung uh, dokumento. I would like to agree with the position of your honor and precisely as one of the exceptions to the prohibition an impeachment by the very nature of the proceeding is in essence an opportunity to deviate from the prohibition and on that premise we agree that as long as it's an impeachment the um, uh, witness or the bank official may be compelled and may disclose details pertaining I'll to the I'll give the defense a chance to say their opinion, but one follow-up question there. Then it wouldn't matter kung, kung anonymous, kung ang nagbigay ng tip eh kilala o hindi. It's, it's more of kung taga-banko kasi yung nagbigay, and let me now state here, there are many possibilities as the bank officials have been saying. In fact, it could be the client's copy. I no, mentioned no. the uh, Udong Mahusay case here where the client, allegedly, the first gentleman, nasa alalay niya yung mga papeles at tinakbo yung mga papeles kaya ito ang ibinigay the bank manager said that they also went through some audits so not to point fingers here but there are 1,001 possibilities but the point is kung saan man ng galing if yung Clarissa Ocampo president is correct and if the interpretation of 1405 is correct it doesn't really matter kung kung uh, kung sino nagbigay, uh, because this is an impeachment case. But can I ask the defense, do you have a different interpretation? Sa inyo ba kailangan may order pa yung korte or pwedeng ibigay ng banko? Well, the mere fact that the case is an impeachment case does not exempt anybody else from uh, violating, from the criminal liability of violating the confidentiality of the deposit you know, or enshrined under Republic Act 1405. Now, you are citing the case of era probably in that... But that, in that case, Your Honor, the charge was plunder against uh, President Erap. And plunder carries with it, as alleged in the information, there is tapa, bribery, and so on. So there is a relation between the predicate offense and the, and the, and the charge of uh, and the, and the impeachment complaint, Your Honor. But supposing the impeachment com there is an impeachment complaint filed against an impeachable officer, and what is involved? In, in what, and what is involved is a case of Pistapa, which has nothing to do whatsoever, or concubinage or adultery. Why will not the privacy enshrined or, or confidentiality enshrined under 1405 be availed of? Simply, be, my point is this, Your Honor. The character of the proceedings is immaterial. It may be impeachment. But if the predicate crime involved has nothing to do with the impeachment, the, the confidentiality is still obtained, Your Honor. Yes. Take, and that take. was made succinctly clear in this topic, in yes. the Arab case, because the church there is planned there, and there were allegations of bribery uh, and other crimes, Your Honor, in the information. So there is a commission of the offense, therefore, there, the, there is no necessity of a court order, revelation or uh, dealing with the account of the, of the respondent public officer may be made, Your Honor, mm. without an order of the court. Sir, your explanation is very, very clear, no? Um, Thank you. I was the, just relying the, on the, the jurisprudence the, on the point. The uh, Senate President, the presiding officer, already ruled several times that 2.2 and 2.3 .2 in uh, Article 2 includes allowing the prosecution to show that if there are bank accounts that exceed 
what was declared in the sal n as a uh, uh, declared as a cash assets of the so so in this case although of course you will have your turn to dispute that and say whether or not uh, that's a valid allegation no uh, ang tinatanong ko lang po halimbawa po may lumapit sa kanila ngayon na bangko without a subpoena no mm -hmm. without a, without the order of this impeachment court at sabihin 1405 exception impeachment ito po ang account we want to be patriot whatever no whether ang laman ng account zero or whether ang laman ay napakalaki that will be a violation of Republic in, in your 1405. Opinion. Yes, Your Honor. I'll stop there, uh, yes, Mr. Your Honor. President. Definitely, yes. As what you will, you will notice, the, it is not only the legal liability that is uh, paramount in this particular. You will note that when, yes. the, when the, revelation or the, the revelation of the account had been made, there is a bank run that causes the closure of uh, PCI Bank. PCI Bank. PCI Bank. Well, well, Your Honor, and, uh, I how, was can, how can I guarantee, for instance, let's say, uh, let's say I'm the lawyer involved. I say, sige, labas mo. Hindi ka covered. But the, the, the postor started to withdrawing. Uh, can I answer for the multi-million business that had been lost by the bank simply because of yes. my advice? I should be very, very... Uh, Pre precisely my, my point, uh, counsel, no? uh, the Honorable Justice Cuevas, I was saying that iba po yung issue ng bank run at hindi natin pwedeng hindi tignan yon. Pero iba po yung point na legal. Right. Na legal ba na buksan? But I'll stop there, Mr. Presiding Officer, because I just wanted to hear both sides. I think this will be relevant later on when we compare the documents and when we decide uh, the admissibility of this evidence. Thank you, Mr. Presiding Officer. All right, let's uh, proceed. Yeah. Mr. President, we're finished with the witness at this point. There are no more questions. So may we call back... Uh, the bank manager of uh, Katipunan branch. All right, uh, we, trial we, suspended we, we, for one long minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's 5.58 in the afternoon, and as you can see, um, so far, uh, we... On the stand is the PS Bank uh, president. He's standing his ground of not really wanting to reveal more than what's necessary because, as he says, there is a Supreme Court temporary restraining order. The document that they are referring to, as PS Bank says, whether dollar or peso, is contained in one document alone. Kaya nagkaroon po ng mahabang pag-uusap kanina on what to do with the specimen signatures. The uh, um, presiding officer Enrile said you tape the dollar part and you just give the comparison on the peso part. But uh, right now, you have uh, senators already asking, Is does it really matter where the document came from? Uh,